also back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. Oh, look at that summer sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is today? June the 17th, 2023. Three. Um, and on today's video, I'm going to do a real live shootout of the Honda HRX 217 versus the Bad Boy 21 inch commercial also known as the Y Bravo 21 inch commercial Gen 2 and here we are so this is really thick southern Bermuda uh, we've had kind of a mini drought here lately but it has we have been getting some rain I got a video on how to install septic risers if you're interested and for those that were wanting to know how long it will take the hill to fill in i took the side from the risers where i had to dig and put up there so we'll uh we'll see i'll do a separate video on that so i want to go over the two mowers with you and uh i love 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 the honda hrx 217 and to be quite fair this is not a apples to apples test this is a commercial rated mower. This is a high-end uh, consumer grade mower. The proper Honda mower to compare this to would be the HRC 216, okay? Not the HRX. The HRX, this engine has, I think, five and a half horsepower. This Kawasaki has four and a half. But I'm gonna tell you something. This grass is super thick and this mower weighs 25 pounds more than that mower and it is very easy to push on this thick grass and the mower is very fast but these are the two mowers that I have uh, I sold my HRC uh, 216 please excuse my neighbor cutting his grass with his I don't know what he's got Kubota lawn tractor but anyway so it's not a fair test at all yeah i'm not gonna say it's not fair it's not really completely apples to apples but it is what i have and uh i just did the front yard i've got to edge and blow but the honda cuts absolutely beautiful i love that mower love the mower the best thing about that mower is the fact that the handle is really good for tall people that is the reason why i got rid of the hrc 216 was because the handle was so low it was very awkward to turn and it's just I, I love honda mowers but lately if you guys can watch the video of my brand new one that i sold back to get the uh the bad boy or the y bravo um yeah so anyway you know one funny note is that when i bought the when i bought the bad boy mower the owner's manual they gave me the owner's manual that came with it it says y bravo on there not a single place does it say bad boy you would think bad boy would want to kind of brand their product even though why bro it's just a an orange why bravo mower but you would think they would want to brand their product properly i don't know all i know is that mower is super smooth and super tight so yeah i'm going to uh i don't know how i'm gonna do this the sun is i'm gonna have to shoot the direction where the sun is behind me as best i can it's pretty high up in the sky but anyway we'll uh dallas is coming over here in a minute to pick pick up some bamboo shoots and uh, i'll see if i can't talk him into maybe doing a an actual real-time mowing for both of them but anyway uh let me get set up and we'll be right back
What do you what do you think of the cut quality? This is the first time Dallas used this mower. How do you first of all, what do you think about the speed of it? It's good. Yeah. It's good. So how do you how do you think it cut? It looks like it cuts really good. Alright. So now grab the Honda that we all know and love. So you've used this exact mower before and this is the first time that you've ever used this mower so initial impressions that one cuts better oh but that one's way too quick <laughs> all right so you think this the bad boy cuts better i do okay it doesn't sound like it tries to when the grass gets a little bit thicker it doesn't sound like it wants to shut off like now this has a five and a horsepower, five and a half horsepower engine. That's four and a half. It's pretty sad there, Honda. <laughs> all right, so what about the weight? Does the weight at all matter to you on this one? To me, not really, no. Okay. I would say the biggest difference, that one definitely cuts a little bit better, but Really, it depends on how fast you're trying to get it done. If you're trying to do a bunch of yards and get it done quick. Okay. Trying to just get it done. All right, so switch the trans switch the transmission to to low speed. Show them how to do that. Well, I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, just lift it up a little bit and slide it over. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna go we're gonna go side by side at the same time over here. It's not a race because obviously that one's faster, but we'll just see. Yeah, I didn't realize how much heavier this one was until I pressed Yeah, <laughs> this is 123 pounds. This is 97.
right so to me to me the amount of clippings it seems like they leave behind or you know this is thick grass but I, I think the Honda cuts a little better uh, the clippings are finer I don't know so high speed on this obviously is faster than the Honda you 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 put a car link on me yeah low speed on this it's slower than it's slower than the Honda and this Honda used to be this fast I need to do the hydro the transmission but uh yeah so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up on that hill and we're gonna test the hill holding capacity and availability of traction all right all right this is a fairly steep hill right here so we're gonna see which mower performs better going back and forth Now this is really really thick because I've been watering this twice a day. So this is super super thick. How did it feel on the hill? Well the whole time you're either this way going that way or you're this way coming back. Yeah, this way. I think because it's so light, it wants to try to go down by the
All right. Here's the deal. This is still my favorite mower because of the lightweight. Even though this engine has one horsepower less, it feels like it's a little torquier. I don't know if that's true, uh, but I like this because it's, it's light, that's it. And as you can see, this is the best design right here for me, because I'm tall. I don't know, do you prefer, which handle set do you prefer better? The bad boy, the Honda, yeah. So the other thing I don't like about this bad boy is I would, had I had an option, I would have gotten the blade brake control so that I could start it like the Honda and just, you can let it sit there and idle with letting it go. So without the blades running. But other than that, I mean, it's, this is really thick, dense grass and it, it rolls fine. The transmission, oh, this thing is fast. I don't know if this Honda was ever as fast as this, but it's a very fast mower, very quick. So anyway, those are the two mowers. Uh, if you guys have any questions, whatever, if you got a white robber or a uh, bad boy and you've used them for a while, the 21, because it doesn't seem to be a lot of videos on the 21s, just uh, put your experience down there. And if you have both of these or have used both these mowers, tell me which ones you like better. I mean, it's just grass anyway, right? Well, that's all it is. All right, well, it's hot out here, and Dallas is sweating, and he just came over for some bamboo shoot, so. That's all I came over for. That's all it came over. All right, so we'll see y'all later.